Hello, I'm John Proxy on channel John the West, and I'm about to begin a guild of dungeoneering adventure. But first, let's listen to the song, shall we? This is the guild of dungeoneering on a quest for never fearing or to be a dungeoneer. Swinging oh, yeah. pulls of gold. This is the guild of dungeoneering. All the monsters keep appearing or to be a dungeoneer. Whose stories will be told. Right. Noise. Something's coming Let's start on slot one, shall we? Right. This is the guild of dungeoneering. Oh, no more singing. The land they're cheering. Oh, to be a dungeoneer. Chasing fame and glory. Indeed. Okay, um... It's a very amusing song. I'm sure I'll get really annoyed with it at some point. Um, let's read this, shall we? The Ivory League of Explorers, the noblest, most virtual guild in the land. Pfft, those insufferable jerks. I'll show them. They won't think me so grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I've bought a small hall in the bad part of town with the gold I borrowed from them. I've staked out a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do all the dirty work while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. Like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, he never really said that to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Hey, wait a minute. Welcome to your guild. Right, so, um, well, we need to hire some dungeoneering, so let's build a barracks. Right, this appears to be a, a card-based game. I did see someone else with a video, and I thought, yeah, this looks amusing. I'll check 11 quid at this. So, uh, as you can see, I get to kind of choose where it goes. So I'm going to put it to my left. Um, yeah, let's put it to... No, I'm going to put it behind it there. Right, I've got Karen. That's always left behind. The solitary lump, the pawn whose foot our father grind, the sorry little chump. <laughs> Alright, um, I could rename the chump if I really want. Um, um, I don't know why I did though. Let's call her Bess. Alright, Bess the chump. I don't know why I called her Bess. Just the first thing that came to my bread. Uh, my bread? My brain. My brain is definitely not made out of bread. Let's close this. Right, you can expand your guild to gain new Dungeoneers and abilities. But first, try going on an adventure. Well, this is adventuring. It's my John Proxy adventures. So, I've got a new place. It's rats. How original. Quest 1, squeak, squeak. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Quest 2 is right back, but let's take Bess on Quest 1. So, I've got these series of cards. I can play up to three cards this turn. Now, from what I saw... Oh, it's playing my first turn for me. So, it's placed that bit of level down. It's placed the coins and the duck. And I think she will automatically take the, a path. I'm not entirely sure. When I get to choose, I'll see. So, um, right, I've got five health. Rubber Ducky has four health. I get to choose these rather charming hand drawn cards. So, uh, that does two physical damage. That does block one damage. Uh, minus. Okay, two physical damage and minus one HP. So, it hurts himself. So, if I were to do a closed eye punch. No, hang on. No, let's do a lucky hit. So, but, so he took he took one off himself. So he's going to die regardless. So I'm going to cower and block that damage. There we go. And I get to choose my loot. So I've got a choice between... Uh, uh, from what I can tell, uh, picking these will um, give me the cards in my hand. But I also... There are items. I, oh, okay, that's a hot off hand. That's head. That's head. So that will give me fire blast, which is two damage. Two fire. This is a pigeon nest. That will give me um, one magic damage, one HP. I kind of like the idea of that. And paper crown. Uh, it will block 
and give me healing. I'll block anyone damage plus one HP per, per damage block. I think I like rekindle. Or I can just take some gold if I like. I'm going to take the pigeon nest. So now I've got a hat on. Now it's my go. So, I'm curious about this mysterious fountain. So I'm going to put it in between the enemies. Because I've got to defeat three monsters anyway, right? So he's now going to go towards that. I want to get a fountain of power, so... But I'm thinking... How do I tell how strong these are? I don't want to put one there because I don't want to bypass. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put a uh, giant bat in here. And then I'm going to end my go. So he should... She should walk that way. This way looks so... Whoa! So I... I've got a discard pile as well. So it's very interesting. I'm going to turn the sound down on my headphones. So, uh, there's no point using Rekindle just yet, but he gets the heal, so I'm going to take a lucky hit. He's going to drain one damage off me. But uh, because it happened at the same time, then it didn't actually affect him. So I can use Rekindle to... Uh... Yes, Rekindle to heal myself. But he's going to take damage off me anyway. Uh, it's unblockable, so I may as well use the uh, eyes closed punch. Like so. And that's unblockable as well, so another eyes closed punch. So that's one giant bat taken down. And I, So I've got a choice. I've already got a head, so let's ignore that. Ruffled shirt will give me... Oh, sorry. Let's hold... One physical damage, quick... Oh, it's a quick card, and it gives me draw a card. Well, that looks amazing. And two fire. Yeah, I like that. Let's now I'm wearing a ruffled shirt. So, I'm going to want to put that massive gem somewhere. I'm naturally going to walk towards that enemy there. So, can I put two massive gems down? I don't think I can, actually. So I don't think there's any reason, since it'll, this, that will automatically be the third enemy, I don't think there's any reason putting anything else down. Unless put it on me. Can I put it on me? No, I can't. Okay. Let's end the turn and walk towards the uh, the rat and the diamond. Because it's cha-ching, indeed. Let's hope I don't die against this nasty rat. It's a neurotoxin. If successful, enemy discards a card. Um, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this to draw an extra card because I'm about to lose one I think. Oh no! I just it dropped the card I drew. Well, that was annoying. I may as well rekindle that health and uh, take some damage off him. Let's take a love lucky hit. I'll take two off him. Then I may as well do uh, eyes closed punch, and he's down, and I get to get that diamond. Hopefully, before I win the objective. No, no, I had a diamond. What the hell? Victory. It being such a fine, fleeting thing. Is well, that was annoying. To be found. Who knows what horrors the future may bring? So cherish it while it's around. I, I won. But it's annoying that it automatically won and I didn't get that diamond. Oh, right there. Why wouldn't you pick up the diamond? Anyway, I guess I want to expand the guild. And I have all these choices. I I watched someone play this online and this is where I stopped, basically. But that unlocks Cat Burglar. Um, I, Trickster's favour. I don't know what that means. Bruiser. That seems interesting. Warrior Spirit. Mime. Apprentice. Ooh, more items as well. Let's go for the bruiser. Fairly obvious how that's going to work. So let's build the training yard. Where do I want it? I think I want it up here. 
Lawn. Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser, but one that fills the heart with fear. I give to you the bruiser. Bogart. Bogart the bruiser. I know it's a lady. Doesn't matter. She's called Bogart. Um, hostess must be working. Let's close. Right, so now I've got two people. I've only got eight gold. Let's go exploring. Uh, I guess I want to take the bruiser with me. How do I... Yeah, I definitely want to take the bruiser with me. Uh, though, does Bess lose all the stuff? Let's do Rat Pack. So, I want to defeat the Rat King. Which is up there, apparently. And I assume I'll naturally walk towards it. Right, I get how this works. So let's put down a mysterious fountain. But do I want it there? Or Actually, I have no choice but to put it there. Let's put a nasty rat in. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to do me damage. Oh no, I gained burn. Whatever the hell that means. Let's put a rat in and end the go. I'll bash you, she says. Right, so I've got burn up. When you fully block an attack, deal one damage. Spiky. Alright, so that's unblockable, and I can make this unblockable. Uh, there's no point, so I made because he's not blocking. So let's just use Oi. So we both take one damage, that wasn't good. Uh, I can block two magic damage, that's pointless to me. Let's do another oi. Unfortunately, we're doing one for one, that's not good. Ah, that's unblockable, that's annoying. Hmm. If I only didn't have loads of unblockable attacks. But I if the next one's blockable, then I can block it. If successful enemy discards. Right, well I'm definitely blocking this time. Alright, I do one attack and I block one. There we go. And he took spiky damage, of course, because I should be blocking. So, um... Uh, free armor, two attack, or plus one health. I'm taking that plus one health. Lovely. So... Well, I'm going to put a gold coin in there. Let's move this screen up. And I guess I'm going to put this in. And I guess I think I want the stuff of creatures, right? So let's put in the giant bat. And this time I am going to get the gold coin, which would be nice. Alright, spiky and fountains. So uh, when you fully block, you attack, deal one damage, and fighters gain burn this fight. So you try and something. Let's do two damage. But I must remember to try and block because I'll take. Like maybe if I should have got a shield. So there's no point doing the unblockable because he's not blocking. But he's dead anyway, because of burn or something. I've got twig, that gives me, I like that one because it gives me a block. Uh, but that one heals. Hmm. Heal or crush. I think I need to heal. Right. To the chat, huh? So what am I going to do? I can make a, ma a rat man. We're definitely going to put co gold coin in here. Um, and I guess I should make this room here. Can I? Oh no, it doesn't work like that. Oh no, 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 no! I didn't think this one through, did I? Am 
can't use it there. If I put that down, will he change the direction? Because that would be annoying if he does. I'm going to leave it, actually. Maybe if I did that. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, I see. Will it change direction for me? Alright, cool. He didn't change direction. Uh, and I can put a giant bat down. But he's going towards the gold, which I'm glad for. Alright, he needs just a loner. What does loner do? Uh, minus one HP if at dead end. So, one magic damage plus one HP per damage step. So he does heal himself. So I could block magic damage. Oh, I'm gonna block it. And then I should. Yeah. Nice try, jump. And uh, he takes damage because I blocked. That's unblockable. So there's no point in me trying to block it. So it's just to annoy. Uh, that isn't, he, oh, hang on, that's got a block, but he's blocking my block, hang on, yeah, he's blocking my block, ah, oh, let's just heal up, Sorry. I mean, he'll take the damage off me again, but. And there we go, let's block that. I'll be that. Oh, hang on. Oh, screw it, let's just attack him. I think I'm overthinking this. I should get the coin as well. Right, so let's go for the fork. Because I've already got a uh, straight jacket or a pigeon nest, so let's take the fork. Go to my list of skills. Oh, what choices do I have? Oh, a Null or Ratman. Right. Uh, I think he's quite going to be quite strong, so I think I need to kill some more stuff. So he's going to attack that. If I do that there. I know I could jump, jump straight in, but I don't think that's sensible right now. I think I want to attempt the null. Or I put that there. Oh, okay. But I'm tempted to do this. And then wrap around like that. And then maybe put the stronger enemies in. And the null. Oh. We'll see what happens. So there's a rat man. He's a bit stronger. Right, so he's going to bite me and it's unblockable. So I'm going to slice him with my uh, fork. There we go. Uh, and that's going to take two off me. He's going to headbutt me. Uh, and he's going to minus an HP. Or is that off himself? So I can block that with my spiky. And that'll take two... He, yeah, so he just took two damage off himself. I like that. So he didn't take damage off me. But because I've got spiky, it hit him back. And, he, and it cost him. Parry. That's quite strong. It's got a block in. And uh, two damage. Wow. Well, I should try try that. Yeah, that was worth a try. He's going to make me discard a card as well, but I'm only a couple one away from killing him. Alright, one magic damage and a heal, so yeah, there we go. Lovely. Level up, one HP. 
hang on. So what um this these are two helmets. That gives me um I see that's nice. So instead of rekindle I have Holy Seal, which is um I heal every time I block. No, hang on. Block one any and then I heal. Yeah, so to block that heals me. Or or two damage. So that's already pretty good, right? Compared to that. Or two damage. I think it might be the sparkly headband. Although this won't replace something, it just gives me an extra weapon. One physical damage quick and draw a card. I think I might take that actually. No, these are really good. I'm gonna take the slayer. Oh no, I did replace it. What am I thinking? Oh. It's not giving me any items, is it? I'm going to put it there. Oh, hang on. Maybe I'm overthinking this a bit. Oh, I, I still think I need to be stronger, so I'm not going to put any... Put some nulls down. Yeah. What are you looking at? I'll have you. Might be over preparing. Spiky versus Fury. All physical attacks deal one plus damage if on less than half health or less. So if I can block this, I can't block them both, but I can block one of them. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to block one and attack one. So I'll block one of those, and he, of course, is going to attack himself. I would like to block this, but I can't, unfortunately. Let's go for Annoy. That's another discard. It's annoying. Let's go for Annoy. Alright, shift. Uh, one physical damage quick, and I can draw a card, thankfully. There we go. And I can rekindle as well. Well, he's going to die anyway. Oh well. Let's heal. He just suicided with that card. Alright. Yes, okay. So which one of these would I like more? I think I like that cooking pot more. It gives me two damage, two magic damage, and a another new block. Which I heal blocks anyway, so... There we go, I've now got a cooking pot on my head. What did you say, John? Um, and I may have been foolish in not linking that up. Um, but yes, I'm going to struggle, aren't I? Hmm, where's he naturally gonna go? Let's put a rat man in there. So Oi Rat Man! Yeah, I'm pro I feel like I'm overdoing this. But I want all, lots of goodies. So I can get myself a quick card. Uh or just block. Yeah. Why not? There's two damage. So he's gonna block that. I don't have anything that will go through. I, hang on, it's quick. That doesn't count. Okay, but I got a card out of that. Um, so I can block two magic damage. Damn. Alright. He's going to make me discard the card I picked up. Right, let's... That's unblockable, never mind. Well, I can... Do the same to you. I can um, do an unblockable attack to you, mate. Um, let's fire blast him. 
Why did you? He was hurting himself anyway. Uh, well, that's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> it gives me two. Oh, it gives me two extra health, so I don't knock it, right? But no. Or a club that will give me rekindle and slam. Is unblockable. Or another stiletto. I can just take some gold. I'm gonna just take some gold in. Wow, the game really does not want me going anywhere. That's kind of annoying, to be honest. I mean, I had an up as well, but I guess that's my fault for being really specific with <laughs> with the things. I right, just put some gold pouch down, and then my turn. I'm going to let you go after I finish this one. These are only going to be short videos, relatively speaking. He's got Fury. So, I'm going to block that with my Bash. I'll do two damage because of my Spiky. I'm going to block it again with my Get Out of Here. That'll do two damage. Like so. And he's going to hurt himself, so it doesn't matter what I use. Right, let's use Shift. Why not? Lovely. It's a shimmering cloak. I lose my plus one health. But I get flame lash, which is two magic damage. And yeah, I think I want the shimmering cloak. Ah, oh, come on, give me give me the way up now. There we go, way up. Let's go towards the end. So let's put gold pouch in there and a rat man. Just in case. And go see if I can defeat the rat king. So what am I going to do? It's unblockable. So... Hmm. Let's uh, do Mind Strike and draw, draw an extra card. Uh, this is going to do two damage to me, but he's going to hurt himself. I can at least try and block one of those damages. We'll get out of here. And that will deal an extra damage to him as well. So, uh, Same again. In fact, I'm going to block both of those and see what happens. Well, he's just killed himself, so let's draw a card for the sake of it. Right. That was a bit weird, but no mind. Just take some gold. Gold and a null on. Ah, uh, it's good. Let's put that man on. I'm going to put that there for no reason at all. Having that, says my bruiser. Right. Come on, that man. See what you're made of. Um, okay, I need to block that. Because he's going to make me discard a card. And I don't want to discard a card. So let's do double block. That will hurt him anyway. That's unblockable. So uh, let's draw a card. Why not? That'll help me out. He's going to do two damage. I'm going to try and block one of those with a bash. And that'll do extra damage to him. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't. Oh, that was done with me. Fine, I'll block him with this, though. There we go. Lovely. Well, he's just killed himself, so... Let's do two quick damage before he kills himself. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That's what we want. We want a glyph or tatted mail. We're going to ignore the tatted mail. We're going to take the glyph. Gives me holy seal, which uh, block any... Uh, one block, and it heals me. And it also gives me focus, which uh, plus one... 
On next magic attack, plus one HP draw a card. Wow, okay, so it heals me, draws a card, and gives me an extra magic attack. Sounds amazing. Oh, did, and that's my offhand, of course. Lovely. Well, I'm gonna, well, I did this before. Like, I put the ma massive gem on, but the problem is... It, it, you leave the place before getting it. I mean, I'm tempted to go there. Look at my face, is it bothered? I mean, I'm, he's definitely going to walk towards Rackling, so I'll try, but... And this place is down for no reason. Oh, just end turn. Yeah, he's just going to find the right thing and not get the gem, which is really weird. Maybe, maybe that was a mistake last time. Right, me versus the Rat King. I've got Spiky and Fountains. What does Fountain do? A hero gains 1 HP per blocked fight this turn. When you fully block an attack, deal 1 damage. Alright, cool. So blocks are doubly important. Uh, let's use Slice. There we go. He's going to hurt himself in anger. Uh, so let's block him. And I should heal and attack. Lovely. He's going to parry. So... Hmm. He's going to do two, two damage to me. And I don't think I can help that, unfortunately. So let's do Oi. It's two damage of me, one of him. Oh, he blocked it. What? I'm, I'm a bloody idiot. I am. That's unblockable bite, so let's do two quick damage. Okay, uh, he's going to kill himself anyway, so I've just got to survive. Let's heal this. Right, that didn't heal. I was confused about that. Level up, 1 HP, but it just sends me home. Give me my bloody crystal. Well, now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. Oh, uh, put a lot of effort in that run there. Trophy room. Let's place that down. And um, I'm going to put it right next to there. Hang on. I'm going to put it there. I can't go all the way back. I keep going back, so. Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Indeed. Right, uh, I think I'm going to let you go. It's been, been quite happy with my first episode. Let's say, uh, I've been John Proxy, I'm with John West, and this has been... What the hell's this game called? A Guild of Dungeoneering Adventure. And I'll see you guys next time.